Hey guys, welcome to It's Always Sunny Week 5. We are most definitely going to sit down with Teal Wicks this week and show you her dressing room and she'll answer some of your fun questions. And I did have some other things planned. However, people often ask about swings and understudies and what happens when people are out. And we have a pretty unique show tonight in which we actually have more people who are out than we have coverage for. So in Broadway terms, we have what's called a cut track show. We have two or three people covering the roles normally done by three or four people. And uh, this, of course, puts a lot of strain and pressure on our, not in a bad way, on our stage management crew and, of course, you know, wardrobe and hair and specifically our swings and dance captains. However, those people in this building are incredible. They are organized. They are shockingly competent. I mean, it's just they're so good at what they do, and I thought that this would be a really great way to show everyone uh, what happens when everyone springs into action when, you know, things seem a little crazy around here and everything, everyone is calm and everything is under control, but from the outside, you're like, well, how do you do a show when you don't have enough people? Well, you have amazing people who, uh, who make it happen, so I'm going to just run around real quick right now and talk to some of the people who, who have to uh, do jobs they don't normally do in ways they normally don't have to do them, and, and here we go. Teal. Hey. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to my dressing room. <laughs> Show Come us your room. In. Show us this. Look how pretty it is well, in here. first, yeah. Wallpaper. Wallpaper. Big and macrame statement. What's curtain. macrame? Macrame curtain. Macrame. Amazing. Yeah. Um, very important things. Very important. Yeah, it's got to be beautiful. For teal. Yeah. For Lady Cher. For Lady Come Cher. Come on in. All right. Uh, I don't know. What else is there? They're also have any... very important. A fridge. Must have a fridge. And some some brown sustenance some to, booze. you know. For the end of the week. Yes, for the end never of the week. Never in between shows. She between shows. Teal doesn't even, she's never even heard of the equity one. No, what? It means we're number one. <laughs> <laughs> I love this more than anything. I know. Ugh. That was from our, those were from all our scenic our designers. Our scenic designers. We did this, bitches. Because we did. We we're done did this, We're still bitches. doing it. Yeah, and I mean, hopefully we're for still a long doing time. Uh, what else you got? What else you got okay. that we want to see? Share swag. Lots share of share swag. swag. We got share dolls. Lady, sh lady shares up here. You got a humidifier. Lady, lady humidifier is very it's, important. It's very dry. I have lots of plants. <clears throat> lots of plants. Greenery. Greenery. Um, Talk to me about this big picture up here. Oh, the big picture? That's... A picture, it's Catherine Hepburn, it's from just a random artist that I, whatever. Lovely. Yeah, I've had that for a while. We saw this oh, one. you know this that one. amazing Oh, and drawing. then the one to the left, that was my Aunt Joan painted that oh, for me beautiful. and gave it to me. So I promised her I would put it in my dressing room. Oh, and now, and now, it, now it'll be in perpetuity on the internet. Oh, <clears throat> oh, wait, wait, this is really cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love that. Look at it. What is that from? That's from Kevin. Kevin made that? Yeah. Our wig supervisor. Kevin Maybe, our wig supervisor, is the grumpiest grump on the outside. But inside, he He's is the, the sweetest, sweetest man. He loves to decoupage. He, t uh, he is lovely. Okay. I know. Um, and you got yeah. your station with all and your stuff. You got a glowing rock. I got a glowing rock. I got other little crystals. <laughs> got a heel. Most important. Obviously. Have coffee. Yeah, I had I had yeah, I usually coffee. have them in these episodes too, but Teal and I share an addiction. Okay. Yeah. Uh you wanna answer some questions? Okay. Okay. Top five favorite share songs. Oh, right, okay. Um, now they also said sing some, but I would never ask you to sing. No, come to the show. Intro. That's and right. Hear me come to the sing show. Them, yeah. What do you got? Sing them. Okay. Um the beat goes on. Yeah. I got you, babe. Yeah. Uh Gypsies, Tramps and Thieves. Yes, I was forgetting about that one. Um Perfection. Oh, Teal, I do know Michaela said that. I did, yep. yep. Oh, she said you guys sing it backstage yeah. together. It's a good <laughs> song. Yeah. Sorry. I don't no, know. No, say whatever the Oh, you and want. I only have one left? Well, well yeah, I mean, oh, you, you can keep yeah. going. There's, no, this is not okay. a hard and fast I'm gonna kind pick, of situation. I'm going to pick um, We All Sleep Alone. It's a really good song. Give me your favorite line or lines oh. that other characters yeah. in the show say. Yeah. And I want to hear an impression of that. I mean, to be fair with this, like we've all heard each other say these lines like hundreds yeah. of times already. So sometimes they just stick out or they're funny or like people have a specific take. My favorite um, are the Phil Spector lines. Okay. Come on, let's hear your best Michael Fatica. Okay. All right. <clears throat> okay. I have to remember, I have to remember what it is. Okay. Chop, chop. Rack up the next number. Rolling on take one. <laughs> 
That's really good. I imagine his shoulders are up to his ears and he does this. He definitely does. And the way he kind of walks. <laughs> what are some uh, script changes and things you missed that were cut? We used to have shared as an amazing version of Superstar, and that used to be on our show, and it was my favorite song that I sang in the whole show, and that was cut a long time ago. It's a hard... It, but it, it's it, still in my heart. It is in her heart. And, and we'll, I'm not giving her up. That's right, and we'll yeah. record it one day. We'll record it one day. Yeah, it'll be on the B-side of the um, cast album. I also really miss All I Really Want to Do is Be Friends With You. Oh, yeah. yeah. He used to sing that with uh, Michaela. It's a great... It's a great song. It's a great it's song. It's such a good song. Yeah. And then, oh, and fun fact about that song, if you guys are listening at home, Cher recorded that by herself, but she did both voices, so they yeah. actually, like, the record company who they were trying to, like, sort of go around, because they did record it with someone else who they weren't signed with, thought that it was the two of them, but it wasn't. It was just her. That's how they got around being signed in one place and singing it in another. Because oh, yeah. they were signed to Sonny and Cher and she sang it by herself. Listen to it right now. Pause. Pause. And go listen to that song. It's so cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, those are fun. Yeah. Do you have any particular pre-show rituals that are specific to you? I just, I get here, I always try to get to this here at least an hour before. I do a vocal warm-up. I do a little bit of a physical warm-up. I should do more, but I actually do more physical warm-up well after we get dressed and go to places while Stephanie is turning back time, I'm doing planks backstage, off stage, because Cher can do a eight, five, eight five, minute? I don't know. She Let's says see. she can do an eight minute plank. Eight minute plank. Who knows? That's 72? Yeah. Do we say her age online? Is it, it's online, She's right? So I get, yeah. 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 That's... So we try to do that. Um, I don't know. So I just warm up, I put on my makeup, I get my wig, I listen to music. Um, and I usually have a playlist that's very specific for, that I have um, curated specifically for a show or my character. And um, Okay, the last one is, yeah. what is your most embarrassing Broadway moment? Um, uh, uh, Wicked, it's definitely Wicked. There's a lot, a lot of stuff going on in Wicked. A few weeks or a month where I kept the suitcase that Elphaba runs in with at the very top of the show for right before Wizard and I when she's going to shiz and she's all like, I'm going to shiz, woohoo. Um, and she literally front center, like beeline straight down center to the very dead front center of the stage and just stands there for a minute and she has a suitcase. Usually gets entrance to applause. Yeah, usually gets entrance to applause. Um, and then the suitcase, we always, because you come in with like all this momentum, so I'm always kind of, before these doors open that you run through, you're kind of like gearing up for the momentum. And See, this happened. This moment happened, before yeah, the moment. moment before. Way to go. I'm a very professional actor. <laughs> and I swear this happened at least twice, that right as the doors opened, the, the handle broke on the suitcase. Oh, no. So the big box part of the suitcase, minus the handle, flies down stage, like dead center, going straight for our conductor. It didn't go into the pit, but yeah. Damn near. Yeah. And that was your entrance. That was my entrance. Here's and that happened at least twice. So I don't know why my I had a busted suitcase. Thanks, guys. <laughs> and then I had to carry the suitcase around because the whole scene, Elphaba is carrying the suitcase while all the kids are being jerks to her. And Aww. I'm literally carrying a suitcase in my arm like it's like... I mean, like that's a satchel. A, that's a tough way to start the show. It but is. also, maybe the audience thought it was planned, and like then it's just only even harder. Like it makes her even yeah. more sympathetic. Like, yeah. Look, she can't even have a suitcase that works. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Is that it? Thank you. You're welcome. Do you have anything else you want to say? You're on. It's always sunny. You know, it's, <gasps> it's not every day you have this kind of an honor. Sunny. Yesterday my life was filled with rain. Oh, that's a song. Cher sings that song. It's nice. See, that's her other favorite share song. That's my other favorite share song. Thanks, guys. Peace. Okay, Michael Passaro, who is just second to none as a stage manager. I mean, so what happened today is not out of the ordinary for uh, a big Broadway musical when you have uh, people who are personal based, people who are injured, and people who are ill. All three of those things were in play today. Mm -hmm. We had someone who was out because of uh, a pre-approved uh, vacation day. Uh, someone who injured himself and someone who was just sick. But when that happens, the entire team mobilizes yep. uh, from the dance captain, stage managers, wardrobe, hair, sound, cast, crew, everybody in the building. 
to put together what we call a split track or a cut show. Um, we started, we had an inkling about it last night uh, that we might have to do this. We put something together last night and then this morning we got more information, in other words, another person uh, who had to be out. Uh, then we added that to the mix and we brought everybody in a little bit early and we told everybody what to do and we put it on this that they make up this crazy, here. it's like bit by bit. Every who goes scene, where. every song, every person, uh, and that's sort of a little bit of a road map. So, this is you in concert with Amy and Ryan and. The dance captains. And they're incredible, they right? They sort I mean, of do the base of it, they come up with the uh, template. I kind of check it, I add you know, things that, you know, from my perspective, that need to be uh, sort of attended to in terms of the overall look, feel uh, of the show. Yeah. Uh, and then. My team and I then communicated to all the crews and make sure that they are uh, all up to speed on what's happening moment by moment. Crews being everyone, wardrobe, hair, wardrobe, props, hair, sound. sound. You know, the sound in particular, I mean, all the crews, uh, you know, pull together in a situation like this, but sound uh, has to sort of do some repatching as the show's going on for microphones to make sure that everyone can be heard because they're sometimes covering two people with one mic. Um, or one or one track with two mics. It just right. depends on the specific. Right, situation. and there might be someone switching into a different role for a different number exactly. and singing someone else's part from one place to another. It's not exactly. even like right. when one person has out and then they just there. That's yeah. Rob and Lee the whole show or it's whatever. Not a, it's why it's not. A, it's not a straight uh, assignment all the way through a straight track. It's a, it's a split track. So. Wow. Okay. Um, but yeah, and actually, you know, it, these kind of things always, I think, sort of pull the company together in a really nice way. And uh, today was uh, was no different. Everybody was really spot on, incredible, very supportive, so and very cool. helpful. So. And we love you. Thank you. Thank you, Jared. Ryan is our dance captain, and like swing, do it all, everything. Uh, D covers Lady and Star, yeah. so despite the insanity of today, she's actually not bothered I'm so an much today. Believe it or um, not. Which is perfect because I'm going to give this camera to her. Oh, by the way, I'm wearing this wig now. I'm going to give this camera to her uh, in a second. But anyway, Ryan. So I am dividing my attention between one track and another track, and it's a, it's a guess who for any scene I'm in as to so who I might be. So are you like back and forth between covering Sam Lips and Torian back over the course forth. of the show? So I spend the first half of the first act as Sam Lips and then I switch into Torian halfway through the act only to switch back to Sam Lips for the end of the Is act. Is that right? Jesus. And then in act two I play Sam Lips until I play Torian. But we have, you know, cheat sheets, the crew here, wardrobe, uh, Props, carpenters, every sound, everybody has been so helpful as we do this. Um, but yeah, nobody to follow around. It's it's just kind of a guessing game. And when we catch the principal's eyes in a moment of surprise today, it, it, it's it's the little bit of glee I get out of this moment. So. <laughs> I can't wait to watch the madness ensue. <laughs> well, there's plenty of it. I know. Good, and everyone get a good long look. Let's just really take some time and intro D because D oh. is your host for the rest of the night. Yes, Amy. Yes. Why are you dressed so androgynous? Well, today I make my debut as a Mackie dresser, a male which is usually Mackie a male Mackie. dresser. Uh, I'm Kyle Sven, <laughs> and so I'll move a rack on, be a Mackie dresser with the other gentlemen, and then I will move a rack off with teal. Our beautiful lady hopping on. How do you how do you get into the character when you're playing a man? You know, I like to take a couple minutes and um, just really think about you know what would a man do in this situation. That's yeah, that's really good. Yeah. All right. Well, I wish you all the best. I don't know if you can see any of this, but that's Elena's leg. Hi. Just getting warm. This is what we're doing backstage we before. This is our your warm up. I'm warming up. <laughs> They're getting ready for the the insane split track show. Yeah, look how nervous we are. Yeah, they're very nervous. Because <laughs> they know they're in good hands, that's why. Yeah. Broadway kids. Yeah. Here we go. There he is. I 
watch you walk away. Go get him, Tori. Come on! Over here! <laughs> Walk up the steps and film me. It's really for cats. Girl, can't Here they go. Rodney takes his face. Aww. Rodney. There they go. Okay, everyone, look at all of these costumes and everything. Amy, who are you now? Drink that in. Wait, who are you now, Ryan? I am Sam for this number. Sam for this number. Did you get Lucy? No. Oh, wait. Torian for the next. Torian for the next. Amy, who are you right now? Uh, look up. <laughs> moral support. <laughs> 70s March yeah. moral support. Oh, yeah. No. Good eyes at eyes. Oh, there's yeah, a photo shoot up, happening up, backstage. I, Elena, you're normally in this yes, number. Tell I us why you're not in this number. Well, my partner is having a little bit of an injury, so I'm cut from this number today. Oh, goodness. I better get to the other oh, side. Oh, I better, I, better, I better give this camera back to somebody. Get out of here. Fine. Get out of here. Amy, who are you now? <laughs> Brenda, the real estate Brenda. agent from oh, Nebraska or Oklahoma? Yeah, good choice. Yeah. What kind of houses do you sell? Uh, only the best, honey. <laughs> <laughs> now she's now she's getting all warmed yeah. up. Are you a fan yeah. of the ranch style home, or you like oh, ranch all the way? Ranch, okay. Mm -hmm. One level, nice open space. Sure, sure, sure. A couple big windows looking out of the back patio. Yeah. Can I get a? This is why she's good. No. Kind of on the way out. Mm -hmm. I want a fireplace and I want a pool. Can I get that? Oh yeah. Pool. <laughs> and I'll do them both for a good deal. Yeah. Here he comes. First one, Crystal. Quick, quick, quick. Carly. Oh, the <laughs> this is the best one. Becoming a reporter. We managed to make it to the end of the week, the end of this crazy show with all the understudies and every swing and everybody on and doing something different and nutty and uh, it's true there is an incredible, embarrassing overabundance of talent in town. So if, if you walk into a theater and you open your playbill and there's one of those white slips, get psyched because it's a really fun time. There's a million people behind the scenes making that show special and cool and exciting. This is your big feature week on... Oh. <laughs> um, it's always sunny, so. Hi. Like you, said, you already had yours. <laughs> next week will be Teal Teal's this week. Woo! Next week. We're in another See you next later. week, y'all. Yeah.